Hey guys, how are you doing? It's Simon from BizLearn again. Hi and welcome to a new episode of my tutorial series NX3 Form Secrets. Today I am going to continue the magic mouse design. In the last video I have showed you how to create a class A surface by use of X form. And if you haven't seen it, I'm going to link it now to the upper right because it's a prerequisite for this one. What are we going to do today? I'm just going to create a solid body. But therefore, I'm not just going to use my thicken command, I am also going to use law extension and synchronous modeling replace instead of trimming or any other kind of operation because it suits perfect for this case. However, let's start. I'm just going to hide some of my analysis things and switch to shaded and I'm also going to switch my timestamp to this one. Let's directly start with the thicken command below surface, thicken related to a body face is this one. I'm just going to reverse direction. The value here is 1.75. Of course, you can compare to your raster images to make sure that you have the proper value. By Control and W, you can enable show and height and you can see it seems to be fine, but to make sure I'm going to orientate my view and select my thicken and you can see we're approximately in the center here. Maybe it's a little bit smaller Maybe I'm going to switch to 1.5 instead, which might suit a little bit better because what you see here, it's not an outline. It's a gap between this top body and this lower body. So this is something we don't have to consider now. We are going to consider when we create the next body. However, today it's just about the top and this one seems to be fine and fine tuning can be done afterwards, of course. The problem I have now with my thickness is that the outer face here is perpendicular to my top surface face normals and it's not the value we need, especially in the front area. You can see after selecting this, the line here is not really matching this point here. So we have to work with different angles and this is not possible by use of thicken. Therefore, we can use law extension. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to open this and I'm going to reset the command. You can see the default type is face. That's what we're not going to do. I'm going to use vector instead. And first of all, by use of middle mouse button, select my vector. But I'm not going to use this orientation tool here. I'm going to use my datum coordinate system because if you are using this one, it's not associative. So I'm going to use my set axis and now select my curve. But first of all, hide my thicken to avoid mistakes because right now we have two edges here and I do not want to select my thickened edge. I want to select my older edge, which is related to the top surface instead of the thicken. However, let's first of all define an angle of zero and of course reverse direction. We need to define an angle law, but if you just define one value here, that's approximately what we need. You also receive 45 here and that's not the proper value. So we have to define a specific angle type, which is in our case cubic. And for the end, well, something between five and 10, I don't actually know. This is also something we can fine tune when creating this one afterwards. So don't go into detail too much. You can see also here, we're just approximately aligning this point here but that's okay, that's fine. First of all, I can live with that. Fine tuning can be done afterwards. However, how can we combine thicken and law extension? Well, you can see there is some kind of inflection here, some overlapping. If you just trim it by use of trim body, well, you would receive another edge in that area, which I want to avoid, of course. And that's why I am trying to use replace. And if you wonder why I do that, instead of using trim body or any other thing, I've created a video already comparing replace face and trim body, which I'm now going to link on the upper right. It's pretty interesting because synchronous modeling, of course, offers us a lot of opportunities to increase the update stability of our model and increase the comfort of designing without any associativity problems. However, there are some possibilities which are pretty, pretty cool. I'm going to replace this one by that one. And I'm just going to hide my law extension. You can see we don't have any kind of edge in here. So we have right now a copy of our law extension here. And I'm going to access mirror geometry and just 
deselect everything and select this body instead. And also here I'm going to deselect everything and select those bodies instead. And now we have to combine them by use of Unite. But also here there's some specific information. We have four possible targets now. And I recommend you to always select the older body first. Whether it's however a sheet body or a solid body. So there are some other kind of combined commands of course like sue for, for sheets. Always select your older body first. If you wonder why, I'm not going to explain it now because I have created another separate video just concerning this problem, which I'm going to link now on the upper right. Watch it if you're not sure and have no idea of what I'm talking about because this information will save you tons of time when it's about modifying your parts. So this one is my older objects and I'm going to select those as well. And you can see we have a nice preview. Everything is combined, no alert. We have one solid body created of our class A surface on the top. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have questions or any other concerns about the topics, let me know in the comment functions below. I would really appreciate that. And I'm looking forward to go into the discussion with you. If you haven't subscribed yet and would like the content, want to be informed automatically, subscribe the channel and use the ring button to be informed about new uploads. We are doing tons of uploads a week. I wish you a nice day. Goodbye.